shut up compressor. Okay, it's now time to install the wings, and I've been doing a little bit of off-camera work, just kind of boring, get shit out of the way stuff, so that this is possible. So first of all, after painting everything that's sort of dingy white, I've gone in and painted a few things on this really hard to reach interior pocket. Um, this is gonna be very tough to see, cause it's gonna have, you know, literally the wing over it. It's, it's just buried, but you know, a little bit of hint of stuff, and this will get washed and all that later on with weathering but needed to get in there and do that. I've also, because this is a pretty critical, there's a big old slab you can see right here that sits in there and helps secure the wing. And there's really, you know, I don't want to like dump glue in here and then stick it in there. So what I did is I went in and I drilled these holes in the top of it. So once we get it in there, I can drop some extra thin right down in there and secure it that way instead. Now on the underside of the wing, as you can see, I've also painted these cables for shits and giggles just to get them out of the way. I, I think I may go in and add more later on, but I'm not going to do it yet. I want to see essentially what can be seen, how busy it'll be, all that sort of stuff. So we'll get there, but uh, for now I'm asking for some patience. And then I've also done some really targeted looking to make sure that everything clears. This little door here was sticking over just literally a hair, and it was throwing off the fit sort of right behind it and right in front of it. There was a little sprue gate thing here that wasn't fully removed, so that has been fully removed. And now everything fits up pretty nicely. Still takes pressure though, which is why we are installing these now and not after the fuselage together, because I want to be able to get in on this side and do all the fun stuff. So, you see this bit back here needs to be forced in and then you can you know you can see right there how it kind of just when it sits naturally it sits back so I want to be able to come in and do that I think to help give things purchase and not have to fight that black come on and just a little bit of sanding to remove some of that something heftier than that. So again, just to give extra thin a uh, biting chance to play with the puns. Now, since we're thinking of that, let's get the other side into play as well. It's pretty amazing how well this stuff uh, really grips. Once you get the wings in there, they are a bit of an effort to get back out. All right. You know what? I should. Oh yeah, I should totally do that too. So I just had another idea. Give me a second. Okay, so. Just like I drilled the holes in this box, we've also got this little sort of rounded indent where this portion of the wing sits. And we've got a similar situation where getting glue in there and getting a good joint is really important. And so I'm gonna do the whole thing again. Just to make sure that we can Get that good and wet. Um, let's see, what have we got on the inside there? Nothing. Ooh, <laughs> I need to be careful on the other side though, because that came really close to the uh, to the mounting post. So the next one needs to go a bit further forward. All right. I'm also going to put one. Let's see, I'll put one here. Put one back here. 
basically the more glue holes that we have, the more chance we have to really secure this quite well. Make sure that it wicks all the way in there and all that good stuff. So, yeehaw. Cool. Okay, I think we're ready to start going. see get a good grip here when we squeeze it let's make sure that we're all right so my plan is to start at the back get all this stuff done come up here get this stuff done I think no matter what we do I'm gonna have to add something right up here just because I'd have to literally bend the fuselage out to really make that little tiny corner there fit. So that might we might be looking at a shim or something there just to fix that up. But basically this fuselage part needs to sort of bend in more rather than out. And or at least needs to sort of bend down more. So I don't want to don't want to miss that. But let's go ahead and get the back part here all sorted out. And I'm going to do this and there, there, hit it there, hit it right there. And at this point, it's a matter of holding for a little bit. Gotta remember to get join right back there too. All right, so you get what's happening. I'm gonna pick back up when we're ready to move on to the next stuff. Okay, moving on now. Let's go ahead and get the front locked in. This is just a little bit of pressure, Jesus. All right, I'm gonna call that joined. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the next wing and then we'll pick back up and we'll start getting ready to close the fuselage after a little tiny bit more painting. Okay, so the wings have been installed and everything is looking good there. I think I'm gonna need to probably do a little bit of cleanup right back here where the wing kind of meets this flare out for the exhaust. I know my hand's right on top of it. It actually sits a little bit further in than I need it to. So no big deal there. A little bit of sanding, a little bit of filling, easy peasy. I've also gone ahead and installed the cockpit. So it is glued to the starboard side and everything fits phenomenally. Uh, as you can see, the canopy is sort of in place. I just want to see how it's looking and Basically, the way that it works is this piece sits in these little little tiny holes and then it anchors into the canopy on this little ridge dealie right here. And then once it's anchored right there, come on, these things fit into these little grooves in the back of the canopy and help provide the support. And so then it sits there and everything is good. So I think uh, once we get a little bit closer to painting, I'm just gonna go ahead and deal with this and the windscreen straight away, get them just fully painted up and detailed, 
and then I won't have to worry about it after that. The windscreen actually fits very well. I know that I ran into problems with this on my 148th build because the uh, the boxes on the combing actually interfered with the windscreen sitting the way it should. On this one, that's not an issue. It sits just right. It is, however, a little tiny bit sort of towed in on the port side, but I figure when we glue it, it's just a matter of pulling it out like that and then holding it there while the extra thin sets along the border. So, the uh, combing is not glued in at all. The instrument panel has basically been tacked on sort of the middle post to the center console in the back, but because of the way that the combing sort of slides up underneath the radome and all that up here, we don't even have to worry about it, which is awesome. Now, one more thing before I kind of go into what's next. If you look right up there, you can see where that little piece of polarizing Hasegawa film got put into the HUD lens, and it's a really nice, complicated sort of vibe coming out of there. It definitely provides a sense of depth and all that. All right, so what is next? Well, next, I need to untape all this and reinstall this belly piece. And basically what I want to do is I want to test and see if this weight, the weight of the cockpit, and all that, and maybe, um, fuck, where did they go? Ah, here we go. And two of these little eggs shoved sort of behind the intakes, if that is enough to counteract all of the center of gravity issues that pop up when the tail's go or when the uh, stabilizer's going. So, I'm going to test that out, and then we'll be back, and hopefully we'll be closing up this little fuselage. Okay, so cool story. This thing sits on its feet. Uh, this is just the cockpit, the liquid gravity that I put into the little recesses around the gear bay, and one of these little egg things stuffed behind this intake. So if I stick the other one behind the intake, it should provide just a little bit of extra insurance, because when I tilt it back, it'll still sit on its tail if you want it to. And there's always the chance when we start hanging heavy stuff off the off the pylons. I mean, I doubt it would really impact anything, but there's a slight chance that it might, so a little bit of extra insurance won't hurt. Anyway, we are very close to being able to close up the fuselage here. Uh, I basically need to do some work on the rudder, and I need to make sure that the cockpit on the port side is properly seated, because there are... Let's see if we yank this off. There's a slight, slight gap right here, which means it's maybe not sitting exactly where it should be. So, okay, so I'm starting to glue things together, starting with the top run of the fuselage. And challenge with this is managing it so that we keep as flat a profile as possible up here, which is much easier said than done. The good news is, because of all the rivet removal, when it comes time to clean this shit up, we don't have to really worry that much about it, because if we sand it away, we're not really losing much detail. Same reason, I have absolutely no compunction about putting tape over these joints. And if we fuck it up a little bit, who cares? All right, we're gonna get the tail sorted out. Okay, so it's been a bit of a fight, but I've got the fuselage pretty much together. This whole upper run and a 
Nice, juicy fingerprint on the radome I'm going to get to clean up later. That'll be awesome. All the way back to the tail. The rudder is in a good spot now. And on the underside, let's swing this guy around. Back here by the arrestor and back to the rudder is all good. The tricky part is a section right in here. There is a ridge. I'm going to have to get in there and scrape that down and clean it up a bit. Um, there's really nothing for it. I mean, it's the amount of force required to get it there. I don't think that the uh, extra thin is really up to that job. So, boo. <laughs> Fortunately, it's on the bottom where it's not as important. Now, the one area I'm not going to touch tonight, I'm going to leave until tomorrow, is up front here, where, as you can see, kind of sort of, yeah, like right there, the fuselage on either side of the main gear, or the nose gear bay here, sits proud. And so it basically we need to get glue right in this little border here between the black and the white on either side and sort of up front. And then essentially come in here and squeeze. And when you squeeze, it goes together perfectly. Uh, it just takes... Honestly, not all that much force either, which is nice, because it was taking a lot of force when I was doing test fits. But if we can get that... That helps. How about that? So anyway, if we can get that in there locked in, then we are totally golden. And from there, I mean, I think, like, I think the radome, I'm just going to kind of... Maybe even leave this as is, because it... Currently, if I push it too much, it's going to create a thing there, so yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm going to leave this for tonight, and we'll pick back up tomorrow. Okay, let's go ahead and finish out the fuselage joining and getting these parts in place. So here we're going to put the rear avionics bay door down. It actually fits wonderfully. It's nice to see. Time to see what we can do up here. this whole area right in here is going to be the ugliest part of the kit. Okay, so for the last little chunk of this video, we're going to be installing some weights. Now, these are the same fishing weight eggs that I had before. I just kind of took them on the garage floor and hammered them into a flat shape so they'll have more of a contact patch to glue down. And my plan is to basically install them. Let's see if I can hold this in a way that we can see it. My plan is basically to install them right in here. Um, nice and far forward. Maybe if I can even slide them a little bit that way, that would be ideal. And they are going to just sit there and help hold the plane on its nose gear. So I'm tempted to deal with these, but at the same time, I want to wait until I get the panels installed here so I can make sure that I'm kind of following this line and I can make the judgment call of how much I need to really force these versus not. So we'll pick that up in the next install. For now, let's go ahead and deal with these fuckers. So I want to use some CA. I need a good amount of CA for this. tweezers I want.
extra damn sure that it's got CA holding it in place as much as possible. Okay, how to get back in there. That's one down. Let's see if we get a little bit more sea out of this guy. There we go. Okay. Those are going down. I'm hoping by keeping it. Come yeah, on, stay there. Stay there. You got nothing to lose. So I'm hoping that by keeping this upside down for a little bit. If any, does, if any fogging does happen, which doesn't seem to really happen much with this Loctite stuff, um, it tends to fog basically exactly where you put it, and that's it. And I've actually used it to glue canopies in place before because of that. However, just to be on the safe side. So before we finish up here, just to give a preview of what's coming, this is the very poorly cleaned up panel piece that is basically the first of, I think, four that go across here. And so it kind of sits in here basically like this. And does that kind of number. Ah. So part of the frustration here is that I need to do some cleanup along this whole edge because this thing is really really meant to be installed with these sort of hanging open, which I think is bullshit. Um, I don't want to see an intruder undergoing engine maintenance. But if you look at sort of, you know, once you get it to fit, we don't really want to push this in way too much yet because it's pretty close to where it is right there. You know, I mean, maybe a little tiny bit more. But this is also a really, really sloppy fit right now until I go in and clean this up. And even then, it's probably going to be pretty dicey. So we might be installing some little shims, kind of like we did with the radome and all that, around these edges here just to make sure that it really, really knows its place. Uh, but other than that, that is a wrap. That is the intruder with, I guess, main, you know, the main critical assembly points done. Um, the wings are on, the fuselage is closed, the center spar here is installed, the cockpit's installed, radome is on, avionics door is in, the, ra the rudder even is on, so flip this bastard around. So there we have it. Everything is coming along nicely and we'll pick this up in the next video where we will be finishing up construction and also dealing with installing the engines and doing some paint work kind of in this area to do what we need to do to make the engines really pop. Um, you know, getting the metals down and getting sort of the, the dark heat shield type stuff that needs to go there. We might do a bit of cleanup before we get to that. But we're making progress. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next installment and check you later.